want to start? How do you say yarrows? Welcome to How Do You Say Yarrows? How do you say yarrows? <laughs> How do you say yarrows? It'll be all the fun in the world. We synced up in a very bad duet. Ah. You were beautiful. I was not. It was lovely. Hey, so we are so excited. This week we are going to Florida, which means we are preparing something very important this week. Uh, really, Monday night. Today is a Saturday. That's right. That doesn't matter that much, but we have to pack. We have to pack. This is a big deal because we realize everybody has different strategies for packing That's for right. different types of trips. We are going on a plane here, so That's right. should we lay out our basic format of what we're bringing? Absolutely. Or like suitcase wise. So we're going on. It's a short trip. We're getting there very late on a Wednesday, Wednesday night. Yep. And then we'll be there a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we leave like basically in the night on Sunday. Yeah, we leave six a.m. Sunday morning. Yeah. Is so, our flight back? So that's where you really kind of don't have to deal with packing for that overnight, and then you yep. know the other one. But now, the complicating factor in here, which is, so we are going to. Uh, Disney World. Sorry, it was a slip in my mind there. Hollywood Studios. You already know this from our other podcast. If not, go listen to that. We won't link it in the show notes. You can figure this out. You're grown adults or children, in which case you can figure it out even easier. But the complicating factor with our packing, although not a long trip, we are also going to a wedding. So that does bring in, and we're coming from New Jersey to Orlando. So you're coming from cooler to warmer, but not too warm either. Right, so we're like 30 degrees today yep. in New Jersey, and the weather says that it'll be like 70, hopefully, in Florida. We yeah. pray. Last week when we looked, it was saying like 60s, yeah. so like 70 would be amazing. Yeah. So it's a big difference to kind of prepare for. Oh, big. Big. It's huge. It's But, you know, it's almost like a trickier difference because if we were going... And it was it was a definite 80s or 90s. Yeah. I feel like that would make packing more simple. Yep. But we're going and we're not sure is it going to be 60s, 70s. So like, you know, that just adds to your packing because you want to pack layers pretty much. Yep. And then that takes up more space. Yep. You know. So so we're trying to figure out. Basically, we're doing not a lot of things in not a lot of days, but they're very different things. Yeah. Very. Yeah. So <laughs> Disney is actually super easy to pack for because yeah. like you might you wear something fun. But it's like you're flexible. You're not wearing a prom dress to Walt Disney World usually. I, I actually literally thought about packing a prom dress. I could see that. I tell you that. Really? Yeah, because we're going on the weekend of Valentine's Day. Oh, that'd Day, be so fun. Which I've always been like, oh my gosh, Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. So I truly did consider um, like wearing a prom dress. In. But then you'd have to wear it all day, or yeah. you have to pack a change. Or if it's disposable, wear it in and throw it away. That's brilliant. That's yeah. awesome. If I you... did have a du- oh sorry. No, you go. I did have a duct tape dress one time. <laughs> yeah, it was made of duct tape. It was awesome. Me and my that friend, cool. my roommate from college, we made our own duct tape dresses, and then we wore them with our cap and gowns and did a photo shoot around campus. I love it. So adorable. <laughs> So, yeah, that and that I could have thrown that out, so that would have worked. Okay. I ended up getting rid of it. I kept it for a couple of years, mm. but, you know. Yeah, it, that, it wears the, the fibers and whatnot. It actually kept it really nice. It's just I was like, when am I going to wear my duct tape dress again? It, it does. It is a dated item at a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me ask. Just in packing in general, do you have a couple, like, go-to items that, like, not necessarily, oh, you got to bring your toothbrush. Okay, not that, but, like, okay. something that, like, what, what is your, t- like, hit it or quit it packing list, kind of? Okay. Um, well, I think one thing you reminded us of, so we printed out all of our reservations. Oh, yep. So we have them all on our phone, obviously, um, but we printed out, like, car rental, hotel rent, or whatever, hotel, you know, yep. booking, um, the flight information. So all of that is printed in a folder. Right. really like that. We did that the last time, actually every time we've traveled, so that's really, really nice have everything um hard copy um and then go to a a go-to definitely is like one um like as much as possible a one universal like sweater oh yeah yeah it goes everywhere yeah like that's something that I can wear on the plane and like goes with things or whatever it's like soft if I want to use it as like a neck pillow or like a blanket on the plane it's good or like if we're when we're out at the place you know I can it can kind of go with outfits as much as possible. I mean, that's hard. The universal, you know, what, what color is it? What material is it really going to go with different stuff? But I try to find, once I've, like, made my outfits, I try yeah. to, like, find a sweater that's going to, and it's got 
to be really soft and stuff because the whole point is it's good for the travel portion. Yep. And then I could use it once we're there too if I need, if I'm really cold and I just need another layer. Oh, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then one other thing is um, really good sneakers or shoes if we're doing like a lot of walking. I like it. Yeah, no, that's so simple, so beautiful. But that one I haven't figured out yet. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I don't have good walking shoes that I really like. Mm. I know. I, if anyone has ideas, I would love that. I have not found, like, I love ASIC sneakers, and they're great for running and working out, but, like, a pair of shoes that are going to be, like, go with jeans or even, like, a sundress or something, but are really going to give me good support while walking, just a long day in New York yeah. or in the parks, I have not figured it out for me. I see. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So, I mean, what about you? Oh, extra strength Tylenol. No question. Ah! It's my number one for any trip. You it's do a, have that all the time. It's good. It's a problem solver. That's where it's like, this is, yo, know, I, I don't want a headache. I don't want it. You're in pain for anything. It is the duct tape of medicines. <laughs> it's did, just, when we last went to Disney and everything, did you have that? Did every you, day. You did. Yeah, it started my day off I just like it was that. vitamins. You did, you did. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, yo, I'm not letting a headache come in here. I know I'm going to be unbalanced with water and food yeah. intake. Just keep taking care of the problem before it even starts. Yes. But uh, true type A. That, <laughs> I love uh, that. So I'm big on that. Um, from after that, you know, I, the thing I don't think I'm going to do is wear boots to the park. Oh. But, well, you know, it's it's heavier. Yes. I don't know. Well, and also, like, okay, are we wearing more comfortable clothing? We, we're still deciding what we want to wear, like, yeah. for cute-wise. I know. It's so hard. Yeah. Because See, it, I think it's hard to pack for a park sometimes. Well, especially, like, it's warm, but it's not too warm yes, type of thing. Yes. So it's, you know, last time we went, it was a clear, like, 80s. Oh, not yeah. a problem. It's very straightforward. Here, eh. Yeah. You could, 70 is the high. It could be cold at 70. Yeah. Still, no? Or, yeah. like, yeah. So it's a... It's a, but I will wear boots down, but they'll also double up for a couple things for the wedding and whatnot. Perfect. So, yeah. yeah. So I think those are some of the big complica odd complications. Do you have a strategy you go about when you uh, pack? Yeah, I put my outfits together. Nice. So I don't just put like uh, different tops and pants. Like I, and <laughs> I, I have to try everything on. It's adorable. <laughs> Even though they're my clothes, but you know, I'm a girl and things fit different from week to week. So I actually started packing and I kept, I actually tried on my outfits for the wedding and I have three different options I'm between right now. So um, I put them all on and I like them all, but I am waiting to try them on when, like as close as I can okay. before we leave tomorrow or the next day before it's like in the bag because I know a difference of five days, I could hate one of them. It's real. How they fit me the next, like in the next. It's day. real. It's just so ridiculous. So, but I, I do, I try on everything, all my pairings, and then when I have my pairing, like for, and I do it for a given day, mm -hmm. I roll it up so it's all together, so that when um I get, you know, when I'm there, it's really easy to just pick out that I know that's outfit for whatever day. I love it. Yeah. Not great strategy. Very practical. What's your process? You know, it's I figure out how many days we're there, and I just pile things together. So, like, this will be different because I do have a few set things of, like, yeah. you know, depending upon the trip. Uh, like, for this, okay, I've got to bring a suit. Yeah. Uh, so, we have a formal night for, like, or a dressier night for the yeah. rehearsal. But on a normal trip, it's like, okay, I know the general context. Mm -hmm. I make sure I hit the categories, and there we are. Put them in. <laughs> I that, know. You do. You're like, oh, I, I'll be like, oh, we need to bring a bathing suit, and you'll just grab a bathing suit from your drawer. Yep. Yep. That's it. I, I mean, I also have, like, ten shirts total. I know, I have but you that, have so. multiple still. So, like, for me, like, I, I've already thought about the bathing suit, so I chose my bathing suit, but I had to try on a couple of bathing suits. That's just fair. to be sure which bathing suit I want. Yeah, I got, like, two. <laughs> I know my number one. I know my number two. If number one's in the wash, number two it is. <laughs> Can't be too picky about these things. I love it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and then we... Um, Let's see. We, we also had to think about baggage because, oh, yeah. you know, we live in a world where, you know, you have to separately purchase every single Piece item of, of baggage, yeah. so, which is fine. It's all the flights. So we're combining. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. What are we're we combining into one big suitcase and then we both will have backpacks. That's right. Exactly. Yep. The backpacks will count as our personal item because they can go under the seat in front of us. Exactly. That. Yeah. Do you have anything that you want to carry with you on the plane or have with you at all times? No, not really. When you, oh, like a water bottle. Yeah, we will have a water. Do we want to bring the big one that we have now? No way. That's insane. What? 
too describe heavy. Describe it. Describe it. It is a 64 ounce metal water <laughs> hydro flask water bottle. I literally think that the the people would say that counts as a personal item. <laughs> I, let me put it this way. It's like bringing a baby you know onto what, the flight. You know what's amazing? You know what's amazing though? What? I've tried the. I've seen the 32 ounce water bottle, which I always thought was so big, yep. and I have one. And I feel it's so small now. It is. The 64 ounce is amazing. It's beautiful. Also, the nice part, I've had it at work because I had to monitor drinkage. I didn't actually intend for that to be its use when we got it. I love it. And the, I'm drinking so much more. And the nice part is, I'm, you're supposed to have eight glasses of water a day. I know. Hey, did I drink my eight today? Oh, yeah. That, I mean, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. I'm drinking yeah. a lot more water. It definitely helps you. It's yeah. really good. It's very good. But, uh, yeah, no, water bottle. Cannot bring that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, no, I will say for this trip, a um, portable charger. Oh, Because good. this, you do use your phones a lot in the park, so you're trying to get in touch, but also to make some reservations and things. So one thing I did learn from last time, and we were right because we came prepared, portable chargers really do make a big difference for this. Oh, that just reminded me. How I, I oh. didn't. I Are, didn't fully forget, but... The GoPro? No. Well, that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Go uh, what else were you thinking? No, I was thinking my fanny pack. Find that distance. <laughs> Adam doesn't like fanny packs. Do not like the fanny pack. But obviously, I have to wear a fanny pack at the park. I don't obvious. think that's an obvious factor it's at all. It's perfect. It's perfect for the park. can wear it on most rides. I don't have to, like, hold anything. It's on my waist, my waist does the work, and it fits my phone, my sunglasses, my chapstick. What else we already have a backpack coming in. One more if I get move. a cool button, fit it in there. Obviously, I'm gonna get a button. Find this distasteful. <laughs> but yeah, so that that's that's key for uh, for a park the, for park packing. Those are our packing items. Those are our packing items. If anyone has tips, we would love them. Yeah, thanks for chilling with us. Uh, email us at how do you say Yaris at gmail.com and I hope you have a sleepy Saturday too. Ooh, Later. Or you're packing for something fun. Or oh if you are, let us know. Yay! Bye. <laughs>